Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. I know we've got another question here uh, on the Q&A, and this is a good one. This is one uh, wanting to know whether or not a bone stimulator would be helpful with a stress fracture. Well, that depends. So the short story is this. A bone stimulator is a thing that uses either ultrasound or electromagnetic radiation to stimulate the cells in the bone that actually lay down new bone to actually lay down bone faster. And it's a long story with biophysiology that we won't get into, but basically when you have negative potentials in the bone, it actually causes the the bones to develop faster or heal faster in that repair process. And so bone stimulators are something that are often recommended when you get what is called a delayed union or a non-union. And that just means that the bone should have healed, but for some reason it's lagging. It's not really healing quickly or appropriately. And bone stimulators, generally speaking, are pretty expensive. So most of the time, insurance companies, HMOs, they will not give you a bone stimulator unless you have drifted into that delayed healing status of where they've actually diagnosed you with a delayed union or a non-union of that fracture. Now, a lot of runners use these and a lot of doctors, including myself, have recommended them for runners when they have stress fractures that they need to get to improve quickly. I had one runner. This case is not typical. Uh, This is not likely to be your experience, so do not take this as what is normal with bone stimulators, but one of the most impressive cases I had, again, not normal, so warning, don't think that this is going to be the typical course. This guy had a through fracture, not just a stress fracture, it was cracked all the way through, and I gave him a bone stimulator, put him on crutches, so he was not on it at all. Then something changed, and he was going to have to leave San Francisco and go back overseas for a period of time. So he wanted to get an x-ray, and it had only been two weeks. Normally, I would not even get an x-ray at two weeks. It was too soon, I thought. But he wanted to get an x-ray because he was leaving town and he just wanted to double check it and make sure nothing had changed in the position and that everything seemed like it was healing appropriately. We got an x-ray and it was completely healed. Not moving in the right direction, it was healed. It was solid. And so in that case, he was actually done with the crutches. I told him to transition off the boot. We worked through how to do that the same way that I showed you in the metatarsal stress fracture course, how to you know safely transition in a stepwise fashion off of the crutches and then out of the boot. And that was it. So that thing completely healed him in two weeks. Now, again, this is not typical, so your results may vary, so on and so forth. All the general warnings stand that this is not what you should necessarily expect, but I was impressed, and so was he. And if you have a, a bone stimulator, and it actually reduces a lot of that time that you're in a fracture walking boot, or if it reduces the time that you're on crutches, then obviously that would be helpful to you as a runner who's trying to maintain your running fitness and then get back to running as quickly as possible. That's the issue. So you've got to talk to your doctor, see whether or not your doctor thinks it's appropriate for you. Um, If you're in California and Texas and you do a telemedicine visit, that's one of the things we could talk about. But, uh, you know, it just depends on your specific scenario, what kind of fracture you have to figure out whether or not it would really be beneficial for you or not. That is a great question. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.